Yo, what's going on my precious gems? Thank you for tuning in to Channel 4. I'm your host, Frosty Cones, and welcome to week, I believe it is 14 of the PPC, the Pokemon, the premier Pokemon Confederation. And this week, you guys, we are up against none other than Jared. You guys might know him as Chain Gang and the New York Noiverns. Uh, let's go to a very quick team recap. Uh, to go ahead and get you guys a little bit familiar with the squad that we're going to be rocking here. So up first, we've got Sting, the Gliscor, with Taunt, Knockoff, Protect, and Earthquake. Let me go ahead and show you guys uh, Jared's draft really quick. Um, Y'all can go ahead and pause the video right here so you can just get a good look at it. Um, I've got Gliscor. This kind of takes care of a lot of things. Megal, Kazam, Terrakion, Typhlosion, uh, Rhydon, all that good stuff. Um, Toxicroak. Uh, next, we got Chaos, the Tyranitar, with Stone Edge, Pursuit, Earthquake, Ice Beam, Assault Vest. Uh, he is got the he's got the Sand Stream, and in the Sand with Assault Vest, I counted it. Uh, it's living a Focus Blast from a Mega Alakazam. Up next, we have Regal with Leech Seed, Leaf Storm, Dragon Pulse, and HP Ground with Contrary and Life Orb. Then we have Gamakichi, the Seismitoad. Regal, actually, we haven't brought Regal in a hot minute, and he's he is back. He is back with a vengeance. But uh, we got Gamakichi here with Scald, Earth Power, Toxic, and Stealth Rocks with Water Absorb holding the leftovers. Then we have uh, Neon, the Espeon with Reflect, Shadow Ball, Dazzling Gleam, and Psychic with, all, with that Life Orb. We're bringing the Life Orb set back, um, trying to change it up with the with doing all the uh, the choice uh, choice specs tricking that we've been doing lately. And then last but not least, we've got Gleam, the Luxray, with Wild Charge, Ice Bang, Superpower, and Bolt Switch as its moves. Um, this is a Guts Gleam, so I, I hope that we'll be able to get some good damage off. I actually need to get um, Jared's showdown name. And where? Okay. So let's go ahead and send this challenge over to him. So, if you guys are hyped for today's battle, PPC battle against Chen Gang and the New York Noiverns, definitely be sure to let me know. Leave a like for the video one good time because Channel 4 is brought to you in part by the love and support of the precious gems that you guys are. And, uh, I'm sorry. Um, I was just letting him know that I sent the invite. Tight! And don't forget to add yourself to the Sasser Gens by hitting that subscribe button, as well as following me on Twitter and Instagram, and of course show Jared some of that love by going to his channel and seeing this side of the battle. Let's get straight into it. Um, this is kind of scary. This is kind of scary. He did bring uh, kind of exactly what I thought. I wasn't expecting the Miss Magus, um, really. I was kind of expecting Terrakion, but that's actually really good that he did not bring that. So, why don't we go into Gamakichi first? Why don't we go into Gamakichi first? Um, this gives us a lot of first turn initiative. If anything, uh, if he goes into Donphan, I can double into Espeon to predict the rocks. Um, rocks really doesn't do that much to my team. We got um, one mod that does resist it and everyone else takes neutral damage. Um, it's just going to take that switch initiative off of me. Um, another good side to leading with Gamakichi, if he starts with Dragonite, I can Toxic. Same with Feraligator. Um, what do I have? Yeah, same with Feraligator. Um, Mega Alakazam, I can Toxic anything on his team. Uh, I can either Scald, uh, go for a Scumbag Burn, probably won't get it with my luck, or I can Earth Power uh, four of his Mons, two Levitators, and he does lead with the Dragonite. Let's see what it goes for. If he clicks Substitute right now, I swear to fucking God. Did he think he was going to like set up on me first turn? Is that what you really thought, boy? I'm actually really scared. Oh yeah, and I gotta say, GLHF, you know, good luck, have fun. Let's not have a battle with bullshit, Mr. Changa.
Sorry, I'm, I'm getting down. I'm getting down. Um, what I'm thinking he's probably going to do, he if he switches, again, I can toxic literally anything on his team. If he switches into Dawn Fan, I can go ahead and uh, toxic him. We take away that sturdy. We switch into Espeon, probably bounce those rocks back. Um, we can get the reflect up as well. Um... Oh my god, he has Lumberry! Okay. So we need to get we need to get Toxic back on this guy right away. I kinda wish I had Intimidate now. I kinda wish I had Intimidate now. You know what? I can't I mean it's too late to say, but I should just I could have uh, actually opened up with Tyranitar and gotten the sand up. He fucking set up right in front of me. He set up right in front of me. He set up right in fucking front of me. Oh, oh my god. He went for another D dance. Are you kidding me? So. Let's switch out into Sting. I, we should be able to live. We should be able to live a. Um, what is it? We should be able to live in outrage from this thing. If it has ice punch, we would probably die. Um, we, I don't think we live a, we definitely don't live in ice beam. If he carries it, I don't think he would be a mixed set. But uh, if we switch into Gliscor, we can stall out that poison a little bit. I kind of do want to go out into Tyranitar to get that sand up as well. We got three mons that can handle, uh, that can handle the sand so that'll be good but we can uh, get that chip damage off and we're looking at it needs it, we need eight turns without giving any damage to this dragonite in order for us to be able to, to to kill it but i believe with sandstorm that that short shortens it down to probably like five turns so every turn is going to count from here on in um this is very this is very stressful but I was I was talking with DHM. He is back. Spoilers: We just finished recording another episode of the Red and Blue versus, and um, he did give me a couple of tits and pointers. You know, I always ah ah we're living that. Okay, so he's gonna click outrage again. Hopefully, just hopefully. I'm really scared. Okay, because he needs to hit himself in confusion. He needs to hit himself in confusion. And I really don't want to lose Sting this early. <sighs> Let's count this. Because um, I kind of want to switch into Tyranitar. Oh my god, like, I, I feel like, I feel like I'm actually shaking. I feel like I'm actually shaking. Okay, Dragonite. Dragonite, what the fuck? Um, D Dance. We'll put we'll put Earthquake because I don't we don't know his worth move, but assuming he's got extreme speed, you you don't really not carry extreme speed on a uh, on a Dragonite. Uh, let's go Tyranitar. Um, support. Let me see what we got. 96. 96. Defense. We're living in outrage. And this is with... Oh my god. Hold up. Wait. Hold up. Wait. Hold up. Wait. Wait. Hold up. Okay. So, assuming this is his set, uh, max attack, um, let's put this at plus two, oh my god, Outrage does not kill, Outrage doesn't kill, but Earthquake has a chance to kill, it's a high roll to get like 109%, which is insane. Alright, well, let's switch into Chaos. 
Oh wait, why did I hit yourself? Woo! All right, I'm gonna switch back into Sting. Hopefully we can get another Scumbag Confusion. Um, but I'm glad, I'm really glad that Chaos did not get hit at all because we literally need him to be alive in order to live a Focus Blast from Alakazam. Because we cannot, we cannot live a Focus Blast um, with any kind of damage. I believe, I believe we we can survive with hit yourself Woo! okay so very minimal damage to us on our end if he sends out if he sends out for alligator that's fine because he's probably gonna want to set up on that as well and then we can just uh we can we can click taunt <sighs> oh my god my heart is racing right now you guys oh my god that is scary that is actually scary. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I just have to. I just have to let that fear out for a second. That fear came out in the form of laughter. Woo! Okay. <sighs> so what is he going to next? He probably. He could go into one of his special attackers. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if he goes into Typhlosion. He does need to keep Typhlosion in the back. He has to keep Ty uh, Typhlosion in the back. If I can get rocks up, then that'll be even more. Um, that might force out the Dawn fan, and then we can we can go for we can go ahead and take that out. Um, I wonder if he's got Calm Mind on Alakazam. If he's got Calm Mind on Alakazam, then we're fucked. Because I actually don't know what what's, what fourth move you put on Alakazam. In a uh, standard Smogon set, Encore? Really? Niggas put Encore in this thing? Okay, so we see the for Alligator come out. I'm gonna go ahead and knock off here, or taunt, I'm sorry. I'm gonna go ahead and click, click taunt, click, click talk, cut, ta, uh. What? He outspeeds? Okay. Let's go ahead and switch out into Gamakishi, get that water absorb. Oh my god. Um. I need to get rocks up. I want to see what for alligator for out dance crunch. He could have crunch. I don't have anything to resist a nice type attack though. Why has he got set up mons, nigga? All right, let's go ahead and click Toxic. I want to click Toxic, but I really, I'm going to regret not getting rocks up. I'm really going to regret not getting rocks up, but let's go ahead and click Toxic. Um, I could go for a Skull, uh, skull Burn, but uh, Sand is about to run up right now. Uh... Fuck. Well, we're going all out. Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and go ahead and get this uh, this wild charge off. He'll probably crunch, but we are max HP, so we shouldn't get okoed by it. We shouldn't get okoed by it. Unless he's got earthquake. Instead, he's got Waterfall, so that's two for two right right there. Um, fuck. I'm 
What does he go for? I do want to bring Superior out. I do want to bring Superior out. Um, what does a Superior do? All out attacker. We're going to change his HP fire to HP ground against a type lotion. Uh, it doesn't do shit. It doesn't do shit. It does half damage, max. Um,. But we need, we, we legit need, we need Tyranitar in the back. Not Tyranitar. <laughs> Like I wanna, I wanna send out Superior, but I, I can just see, I can see that. What's, what's a uh, Typhlosion's base be? One hundred to one thirteen. What's an eruption doing? Wait, uh, uh, current HP at um forty five percent. It's still killing. Eruption is still killing as Specs Eruption is. Do I go out into Neon here? Yeah, actually why don't we do that? Let's just go into let's go into Neon. We'll live any attack from a Alakazam. We can live an attack from a um from a Miss Magius. We don't need Reflect anymore, which is fine. You know what? That's good. That's good. I'm okay with that decision. I do want to keep Glyscore in the back. My heart is like, bum, bum, bum. <laughs> um, fuck. He's taking, he's taking a hot minute to choose his move. That's fine. That's fine. You can think about it all you want because I take a long time with my moves. I know that people are always like, you know, Frosty. He's taking like a hot minute. He takes a minute to uh, decide his move, pick who he's starting out with. I gotta talk myself into doing shit like how I just talked myself into using neon. That's uh, that's what I gotta do every time because I, I just I, I second guess a lot. I second guess myself a lot. Okay, I kind of felt like he was going into the Mismagius, which it's completely fine. I wonder if this thing is uh, vested. We don't out or we do outspeed. We're I don't, it's too late uh, to calc now because I'm gonna go ahead and click Shadow Ball anyway. But it is good to see what it's going to do. Coal Mine Sweeper. Do we have? Life Orb. Um. What is Shadow Ball? D Bond? My G, are you scarfed? I'm gonna switch. I'm gonna switch because he should not outspeed me. He like a Miss Magius should not outspeed me. Miss Magius. Yeah, it's 105. I'm 110. There's no way he can outspeed me. With beneficial nature. It's scarfed. It's a scarfed uh Wait, okay, so let's think about this. Let's think about this. Because I can switch into Chaos. I can switch into Chaos and get the sand up. Let that kill this Magius. I can let him go for the switch. Or I can just switch into Gliscor, um, get a taunt off or something, and then get more initiative to uh, recover some health. That's kind of what I want to do. I kind of want to be able to recover some health with the Toxic Heal. I'm just, I'm kind of freaking out because what if he's not Scarfed? He has to be Scarfed, right? He has to be actually Scarfed. Oh my god, this is very, very scary. Okay, Debond.
It's gonna outspeed me. Actually, you know what? Why don't I click Earthquake? Because if he switches... If he switches into anything, I can just go ahead and click Earthquake. He can go out into Typhlosion. And uh, we'll get some damage off. He switches into... Um, into the uh, Alakazam. That's fine. He goes into Dawn Fan. I'm not worried about it. I can click... Uh, I can click... What is this thing? What is this thing? Taunt. Yeah. I'm... See... Uh, yo, who won? That's what uh, that's what Dez or Miss Angel Bomb just tweeted. I kind of want to respond. I kind of want to respond, but let's uh, wait. Did she? Oh, she messaged me that. Um, I did already go for the taunt. Wait, Don Fan doesn't have leftovers. What does he have? Um. Dawn fan, a uh, choice fan, he could be banded against a Gliscor. Taunt, stall. Um, what are we? We are 20, excuse me, 208 defense. And how much HP? 244. All right. We're living. We're living. <laughs> My band is focused, you're dying, you gotta need an ambulance. So, Rocky Helmet. So, he's not banded. Let's take off this choice band really quick. Ice Shard does nothing. Um, I can click Protect here, get some healing done. That only does 30%. So what I could do from here, if we're being real, he's got knockoff, ice shard. What is that doing against a Espeon? Wait, wait. He did 30.7%, so he's not max attack. Um, He's, he's got no attack investment. That's what that tells me. Because low low roll, low roll he does 30.6% and he did 30.7. Um, so let's see, Espeon, it doesn't matter what set I pick. And I just want to double check. We, are, we don't have any HP investment at all. So Ice Shard does nothing. Ice Shard does bullshit. What? Did he predict that? He probably saw he probably saw the damage that he was doing. Okay. Uh does a typhlosion outspeed a superior? We are 113, I believe. just like made my heart drop okay so hp ground has a chance to kill now it will will do some good damage to it um that's if that's if it's choice specs um or i'm sorry that's wow fire blast is gonna do a lot if he tries to hit us but eruption's not gonna do jack shit if he tries to come at us with that So let's see if he scarfed. I'm gonna click HP ground. And this will tell us right off the bat what this Typhlosion is rocking. So let's hope for a high roll, because it's 90 to 
91 rounded up. Oh, please. Regal, give this HP ground everything you've got. I believe in you. You are the superior to be. You are the king. You are Regal. Oh! Okay. I believe in you. I believe in you. I legit believe in you right now. Hit him with that HP ground. Hit him with that HP ground. Hit him with that HP ground. Bring it. Bring it. Bring it. Huh. Yeah! Okay. Okay. Yo, if this ends our losing streak, that I think that's what I'm most happy about is that this might end our losing streak. We just gotta we just gotta be able to kill this Megalakazam, because that thing is a fucking threat and a half. I don't think I'm really scared about pursuit now. Uh because I don't think pursuit's gonna kill. I don't think pursuit's gonna kill. So we need to get off as much damage as possible. <sighs> He's gonna go for the Destiny Bond. If he goes for Destiny Bond, I got Leech Seed. I've got Leech Seed, so I'm clicking it. That is my move, I'm putting my move in. He can Destiny Bond only once. Leech Seed is not going to take us down. We just need to take out this Alakazam. We just need to take out this Alakazam. I can taste the victory. I can also taste the defeat because depending on what this Miss Maggie does, does then... Oh my god. I'm actually like, you guys, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm freaking the fuck out. <laughs> I'm freaking the fuck out right now. Oh my god, please, Miss Magus. <sighs> you can pick your move. You can pick your move. I... That's HP. So he definitely outspeeds. Yeah, he definitely outspeeds. Yeah, that could be it. I was really expecting for him to go to the uh, Destiny Bond, but that's fine. I'm going to try to get back as much HP as I can. I'm gonna start calking. I'm gonna start calking. Alakazam, Mega, with Pursuit. Stone Edge Okos. Stone Edge Okos, we win. Fuck! Oh! Contrary! On the contrary! Oh my god! Oh my god, I was not expecting- okay. Well, we might just live. We might just live this hit. Oh my god. That- <laughs> Oh my god, uh... <laughs> this is gonna end our living streak! Ugh! <sighs> wow, um... That- he said, are you fucking kidding? Wow. XD. I had no idea. Yeah, contrary, my friend. Contrary. On the... On the contrary. On the contrary. We live in, though. And that is a good game to Mr. Chang Gang and the New York Neuverns. Um, definitely be sure to show him some love. Um... I'm gonna, I'm gonna be chatting him in just a sec, but definitely be sure to show Jared some love. Go see this battle on his side of the channel. Subscribe to him. His channel will be linked in the description below. Go ahead and show your Austin Agron some love for pulling through. We really had to fight tooth and nail for that. I went in with a plan. I had to keep Tyranitar in the back for Mega Alakazam, and in the end, we didn't even need it, which is awesome. And, oh my god, just go ahead. Uh, thank you. Thank you guys for just... Take the time out of your day to watch this. I'm going to wrap this up. Thank you guys for taking the time out of your day to watch this this battle and make it to the end. If you liked it and you enjoyed it, 
you want to show you awesome that aggro on some of that love leave a like below don't forget to share with your friends if you have anyone in mind that would like some uh, awesome competitive battling goodies to watch every now and again definitely share this with your friends and um, with all that being said I think I'm gonna get out of here and bounce so thank you guys for tuning in to channel 4 and showing your love and support for the channel I'm your host Frosty Cones and your coach of the Austin Agrons signing off peace